Hi everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance, soybean maturity. When are soybeans gonna be ready to run? You know, it's pretty easy to go out and check maturity on corn and you know, you break the ear in half, shell it off, get a pretty good moisture on that. It's a lot tougher to figure that out in soybeans. So here's a kind of a couple of starting points to kind of get you rolling, get a, kind of an estimate when we might be ready for maturity, ready for harvest. <clears throat> so let's start, you know, from furthest to closest. Number one, R6. This is the green soybean stage. So you can look down through here, all the pods are still green. A plant like this still has every bit of three weeks to get to maturity, let alone when we get to maturity being R8, then we start going down in moisture from there. <clears throat> you know, so this, if the whole field looks like this, like a lot of our double crops do right now, this is still a month away, no, no question there. Now, you know, weather can kind of play with this as we continue to be dry, we might see more issues with the beans just die and give up earlier. But if your beans, have pods that are completely green like this, I would think you're probably still at least a month out from harvest. Next stage, R7. So this at this stage, we start to lose the color. So we lose that green color on those soybeans. As a rule of thumb, this is probably still uh, 10 days, two weeks from maturity, another five, seven days after that to get to harvest moisture. So if your pods are starting to turn like this, this is probably somewhere in that three week kind of range, two and a half, two to three weeks for sure, till these be ready to run, R7. What you'll find sometimes is you get differences down there. So R8, the reproductive eight stage, is when we have 95% of the pods that show our mature harvest color here. This one's not quite there. Um, but when we reach that stage, typically we're still about five to 10 days from getting down to harvest moistures. So this would probably be in that 25 to 35% moisture range if you were to pull a sample and go and run it right now. Too wet. So let's say you get to this stage. And then of course we've got some, like you see mostly behind me here, that wear a dark color from top to bottom. That's probably within a week to 10 days we'd be ready to run here. So how do you tell the moisture inside those beans? So you got your good harvest moisture here, harvest content, good color, so how do we know when we're ready to pull the combine out there and start running? A couple different ways. I, I'm a big fan, personally. Let's take the plant, you know, pop open some of these upper pods and just chew on the beans. Certainly look at them first. Well, how well this is gonna come across. But if you look at that, those are still kind of bigger beans. They don't like to dry down enough. You can feel they're kind of rubbery when you squish them or bite onto them. So that still tells me we've still got at least, at least five to seven days till this will be ready to run. Another way too is you shake it. You can hear that. You hear the pods shaking on the beans shaking around inside the pods. That's a good sign that the beans have separated from the membrane inside here. So now we're in that dry down phase. <clears throat> so that's another way. Um, but big picture, if the field looks like this, we're still probably with this good harvest color, probably in that five to seven day window. So not uncommon to be thinking where we are today that you know we're probably October one, maybe into next week even. Uh, seven days from now, we'll see quite a few beans ready to run. And guys pushing hard on that. One more oddity I want to go over, but since I'm out here in the field, because you're going to see this, a completely green plant, green leaf still hanging on there. Wondering what this is. When you look close, the pods are almost zero or no beans inside those. This is the normal plant out here, but this is caused by a virus, the tobacco ring spot virus. Within this tobacco ring spot virus, insects, this virus naturally occurs in our waterways, in our ditches, and in dry years like this, insects will go out of those ditches and start feeding in the beans. And they bring this virus with them. So I've been in a couple different fields looking through some issues where we're finding lots of this. And by lots, it's probably a tenth of a percent, but it looks like a lot more out there. So this is a virus that can pop out there um, the nice thing is, typically there's no beans in these pods. This is gonna go right through the combine, not end up in the grain tank. Um, but it's still it's ugly to look at. Not a whole lot of control measures we can do to do that, except maybe when it's dry, we don't mow the ditches, don't mow the waterways, which forces the insects out into the fields. Not much we can do right now on that. Um, but thinking ahead to next time, we have a dry spell, July, August, September here. So hope that helps. Look at your beans. If the beans have good harvest color on them, give them a little shake, pop some open, you're gonna find, like this one right here, that's good and dry. Got a little crunch to it as well, 
So that's telling me we're getting pretty close on this part here. Managing the overall moisture of the field is gonna be pretty important here. Last year, back in 2022, we had situations where we had 8% beans on the top of the plant and butter beans in the bottom. Cross our fingers, right now, I'm not finding that in the fields. They're maturing pretty uniformly here. We're definitely gonna find some, like this plant here, I showed you earlier. Yeah, there's some green pods on there, there's some brown pods ready, but I think those will mature a little bit quicker here and be a little closer. We won't have that extreme difference in soybean maturity, soybean moisture when we get done. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Thank you.